YouTube family, we want to come on here real quick and give an introduction to the interview that you're going to see coming up right after this. We had an opportunity to interview Desiree Ross, who is Sophia from Greenleaf. Mm -hmm. Her mother reached out to us and was like, hey, my daughter's free. Everybody free in the quarantine. Yeah. Let's make it happen. And we did. So I hope you all enjoyed the footage. Indeed. Let us know in the comments how you like it. And let us know if you have any more questions because she may be able to answer some of them. We'll see. How are you guys? I'm good. Good. Oh, my dog. Sorry. Her name is Red. And um, she's, she's a hot mess. <laughs> oh, there he is, y'all. Go ahead and get started with your yes, questions. Indeed. Let's go. Okay. So we're going to get real nosy and we're going to get into the green leaf life and a yeah, little something. Most side. definitely. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, learning a little bit about you, how did you get into acting? So I've wanted to be an actress since I was three. And um, I asked my mom, how do you get inside the TV? And she was like, well, you need an agent. And I said, well, then find me an agent. And she kind of waited that out to see whether it would stick or not. And um, when I was nine, an agency moved in across the street from our house. And I got started with them. And then eventually, about three years later, I signed with my manager. I got an agent. And then a couple years after that, I ended up with like three agents wow. and one manager and I booked my first role. And when I was 16, I booked Greenleaf. And that's basically oh, the- that's crazy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Say, look at God. For real. Oh, look at God, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's exactly the kind of moment I was having. Red, bring wow. it over here. So, so the role of Sophia, was that something you went after or the opportunity came to you? The opportunity came to me. Okay. Awesome. So I got the audition. I received it. I did it. I sent it back and within like three, four days, no, it was a weekend and four business days and I had a contract. Wow. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. My this dog. is real life. Yeah, this is real life. Yeah, this is real life. It is. It is. <laughs> he was like, y'all is not doing this Zoom call without me. He said he want to be featured on random TV reviews, too. Uh, <laughs> really? Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. But that's awesome. He thinks she's a Yeah, that was pretty Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that was yeah. awesome. So that was it, definitely the hand of God. It took me four years before I booked my first role, about 250 auditions. Mm -hmm. But I finally did it, and um, I don't know, by all by the grace of God, really. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. Yeah. it was I just the way... I was frying chicken. <laughs> and the way things happen, too, is like, it's insane, because I was about to quit acting, and I said a prayer with someone on a mission trip, and I went mm -hmm. back inside, and I had the audition for Greenleaf and a screen test for Nickelodeon. And basically when you do screen testing, that means you sign the contract for the show before you even screen test. Oh. So I had contracts for Nickelodeon and I had um, eventually contracts for Greenleaf at the oh. same exact time. So I was trying to pick and choose, like what am I going to do? And mm -hmm. God kind of gave me the answer, and it was green leaf. So yeah, I ended up. Awesome choice. Yeah, you made a real choice. <laughs> yeah, that should be everything. I made the right yeah, choice. Yeah. Okay, so are there any similarities between Desiree and Sophia? We're both very, like, innocent and sweet, but at the same time, she has a naivete that I don't, where I'm more, like, I've been acting for a while, mm -hmm. you know, I'm introduced to that kind of world. Now, Sophia is stuck more in a, not a child's world, but kind of, but she's, she's really like an adult, but at the same time, um, she's kind of naive to the world. She kind of, she's pure. She's very pure. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the word. Yeah. Okay. And I'm more um pure with realism. Yeah. Pure with realism. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't really know how to describe it, but it's kind of 
uh, we're like two in the same and we're different at the same time. Yeah. Like she she's a part of me, but she's not all of me. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's kind of hard to tell because certain aspects of myself show up a lot in Sophia, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of other attributes that I have that she doesn't have, gotcha. you know, where it comes to like being street smart or, you know, just knowing that when God lets me down, it's not the biggest letdown uh, of my yeah, entire life. Exactly. It's just a letdown <laughs> Um, and I'll get past it. So she's kind of new to everything. I think that's what it is. She's very new to a lot of things in the world, mm -hmm. whereas I am more experienced. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> All right. But I've heard that a lot, though, um, with people in the acting, the majority of the time the character is themselves, and they yeah. able to play that character more better because it's themselves. So right. it was good to hear it from you in person. Right. I, I saw yeah. it on YouTube, so. <laughs> yeah, my character is pretty much me. I mean, for the most part, she's definitely um, parts taken from myself and put into a person. So um, I love it because it's easy to play her. It's natural. It feels just right. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm having to. It's easier to be. It's easier similar. to just be instead of yeah. having to feel like, oh my god, I'm acting and I'm doing yeah. so much work because this mm -hmm. character is not me at all. No, this character is me for sure. And I mean, of course, it always is going to take effort, but oh, absolutely, you know, this character is me. Awesome. Yep. All right. So what does a typical work day look like for Desiree or a day when she's not working? Okay. So a day when I'm working looks like going to set around six in the morning, which means mm. leaving at five, waking up at four, doing my hair, um, blowing it out, showering and all that good stuff. Then around five o'clock, I leave. Six o'clock, I get to set. We start getting um, our breakfast. We do our breakfast order. We go through hair and makeup. Um, we get dressed after that. We start doing the first scene, but starts with the blocking, mm -hmm. which basically means setting up the shot and figuring out where you're going to be so that the cameras can get set up. Then we go back to our trailers, hang out, do our scene. Then we might do one more scene on top of that. We might have lunch after that, do another scene, and then I'll probably get to go home. <laughs> and there might be a scene after me. I am not so sure. Depending on the day, I could either be working between 10 hours and 16 hours. <laughs> Y'all make it so, look easy. Yeah, y'all make it look easy. <laughs> we try. That's the goal. <laughs> to make it look easy. I think a lot of people don't realize that when we shoot, we're shooting for about half of our year, and we're shooting on 13 to 16-hour days. Wow. And you also shoot episodes that don't ever get aired, right? So you do multiple storylines at some points? Our, ours do. So all of ours get aired, okay. um, but okay. sometimes other shows, yeah. Okay. But all of ours, I believe, get aired. Um, it's just a matter of when. Like, we shot season four and season five as one season. So, oh. I mean. Wow. Next oh, question. Oh, I wanted to ask this. Oh, um, oh, yeah, what did you want to ask? So in a typical 13 to 16 hour work day, how many takes do you usually take for you to nail your work? It can take as little as one. It depends on how good you are. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or what they're looking for. Yeah. Um, but basically, it can take as many as 15 for 10, 15 for one angle. But all together to get a specific scene it could take as many as like 65 60 i would like to say 
maybe less, maybe less, maybe more like 50, 50 takes. Wow. Um, just about. And that's typically how many it takes to get a scene. Around, I would like to say around 50 takes. We complain about our YouTube videos. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that though. I yeah, feel cause that. we we gotta do two takes. We mad as hell. Indeed, we are. <laughs> no, I feel that. I feel yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Attitude be on. Yeah. Oh my I'd God. be like, I'd be salty still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We be having a whole attitude. I have to pray and get myself together. So I'm like, they're gonna know I have pissed off. Yeah, I'd be like, this is my forty fifth shot. How many more y'all need? <laughs> Take 41. Yeah. Oh, oh God. All right. No, all right. Not so again. So on episode two of season five, we see okay. Sophia getting into a whole lot of teenage-ish. Titty pig. Yeah. What do we have to look forward to? Tonight? tonight, what we have to look forward to is you're going to see her and Nikki throw down, kind of. Hey. You're gonna see that, um, you know, because apparently that picture got exposed to everyone at Hampton, everyone that Sophia knows, and um, and we're not sure exactly how it happened, but I'm sure everybody kind of has the same idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna see her and Nikki kind of go at it and. That's pretty much the gist of what happens with Sophia in the third episode of season five. But in terms of everybody else's characters, honestly, I could say I don't remember since we shot it so long ago. I'm that's not really sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> yeah, that's an honest answer right there. All right, we'll go behind the scenes of Green Lake. And um, I love my girl, Gigi Merrill. Yes. And um, she's often said, you know, in the green room, we just have a good old time laughing at y'all videos. So paint a picture of what behind the scenes looks like when you're just not doing anything, when you're just waiting, just chilling yourself. What is it? Like? <laughs> I'm sorry. Look like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. The green room does not look like my dog, for starters. It doesn't look like my dog jumping on my bed and bringing my phone down. Um, the green room behind the scenes would typically look like lots of laughing, lots of saying, I'm going to run to Crafty real quick. And Crafty is basically the snack spot. So I'm gonna run a crafty real quick. Um, makeup touches when they do our makeup and hair touches, which is like when they touch up our hair and makeup. Uh, I mean, you know, you can kind of put two and two together. And um, and just lots of laughing, some sleeping, um, some singing, oh, okay. some singing, a lot of singing especially in hair and makeup there's a lot of singing some dancing who's dancing um, yes probably me <laughs> or merle i can see, I can see her like, I can it's see probably that. us because we're the most like of the of the cast <laughs> oh my oh my God. God. Yeah. i swear to god <laughs> <laughs> my dog, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, this is so hilarious. He was like, he was like, y'all had. He said, y'all have not included me yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Say hi, Red. Say what's up to my dog. <laughs> he barked back at you. I would lose it. <laughs> She's funny. Oh my gosh. My little baby. Your big baby. Yeah. My big baby. Uh-huh. Oh, I can okay. tell a score right. Right. <laughs> okay, so who is more like their real character when they're watching? 
Besides you. Yeah, besides you. Besides me. That's hard. Lynn is nothing like her character. Charity, um, first of all, Deborah Joy would never turn on her family that way. Never. Oh, like that. Um, sh let's see, Lamont. Lamont's a lot like his character, but he's not unfaithful to his wife, as oh, far as I know. Sure. Um, he's a really solid guy. But I think Lamont acts a lot like his character. It's just the immaturity of his character doesn't lie within him. Gotcha. Oh, okay. And that's good. So, I would say Lamont, okay. who plays um, Jacob. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, so our final question is, now that Green Week is coming to a close, what do we have to look forward to? We see that there's a spinoff coming. So what can you tell us? So what I can tell you is we don't know what the spinoff is going to be about quite oh yet. Gosh. We're oh. not sure. There's still The concept is still working. Um, but I can tell you this season is going to be epic. It's going to be life-changing. Um, it's going to just have everybody shook, basically. I mean, I don't... There's not too much I can say without giving it away. All I can tell you is it's going to rock you. Mm. In well, we a heavy yes. way. In a very heavy way. Mm. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how everyone just deals with everything that's going on because it's kind of going to be – a lot this season is going to be a lot to handle and I'm hoping everyone is prepared. I hope they're ready cuz it's <laughs> going to be it's an emotional roller coaster. Let me tell you that. Well, Let me tell you something. Yeah, especially with this this new church coming. <laughs> In the Long Harmony and Hope. Oh, Harmony and Hope. They can mm. Mm. Yeah, we could say a lot about Harmony yeah. and Hope. We could all say a yeah. lot about Harmony and Hope. That's why we um, call them Hustle Harmony Gig Corps. They need to go. Yeah, they need Jesus. Yeah. Bad. They need Jesus. Bad. Yeah. Bad. That That is true. Yeah. They need, they need a little more of some, some, because yeah, I don't yeah. know what they missing. They just, they out here acting bonkers and, oh, God, they need Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in episode <laughs> one, we thought AJ was dead, and I was like, I'm ready for AJ to die. I said, I'm not oh even dead anymore. Oh, my God. Yeah, we thought, we thought, but he's alive. This episode, there's going to be a lot happening with that, too, and that's going to be nuts. Um, yeah. going to open some nutshells. I don't know. Yeah, you we, guys got to watch yeah. tonight. You got to get ready. Tonight yes. is going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, we will yes. be live tweeting, and then we'll be on right after. We'll do a live right after. Yeah, we'll do a live right after. So. Make sure you hashtag Greenleaf, and make sure you tag me if you tweet me. I will. Okay. I will. Oh, yes, indeed. All right, so we go ahead and end this out. And if you know anything about our closing line, we say straight from the VA, the dirty, dirty south. And when we go two up, two down, holla. Straight from the VA, the dirty, dirty south. Two, two up, up, two down. Holla. Holla. <laughs> Bye, girl. Bye, you guys. All right, thank you so much. Take care now.